The Article 50 process is now underway, and in accordance with the wishes of the British people, the United Kingdom is leaving the European Union. UK Prime Minister Theresa May has officially notified the European Union of the UK's intention to withdraw from the bloc. By triggering Article 50 of the EU's Lisbon Treaty, the Prime Minister has set in motion two years of talks to negotiate the terms of Britain's exit. If all goes according to plan, the UK should leave in March 2019. So what is there to negotiate? A lot. The UK will be the first country to leave the 28-member bloc. It must unpick 40 years of political, legal and economic ties and reach agreement with the EU on issues ranging from the free movement of people to the financial passports used by banks to operate across the continent. It also hopes to forge a new free trade deal to replace its membership of Europe's single market. Officials on both sides of the table are braced for tough and complex talks. Who will be making the decisions? The whole process will ultimately be concluded by UK Prime Minister Theresa May and the leaders of the EU's 27 other member states. But the European Commission, the EU's powerful executive, will play an important role and handle much of the day-to-day -day negotiations. Its top negotiator is Michel Barnier, who will square off against British Brexit Minister David Davis. The European Parliament in Strasbourg will also have a say. Its chief negotiator is Belgium's Guy Verhofstadt, who has signalled he will take a tough line on issues such as the rights of EU citizens living in Britain. What areas are likely to cause contention? The so-called Brexit Bill, a demand for potentially billions of euros that the UK has agreed to contribute to the EU budget, but hasn't yet paid. Some European officials estimate that this bill could be as high as 55 to 60 billion euros. British ministers, including Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson, have said they won't pay anything like that amount. The big unknown is on trade. Free trade talks tend to take a long time. Talks between the EU and Canada took seven years. Most experts doubt that an agreement between the UK and the EU can be reached within the two-year time frame for talks. That has raised the possibility that the two parties will need to agree some kind of interim agreement to bridge the gap between the UK's formal departure and the conclusion of free trade talks. British lawmakers are pushing to be given more of a say in the negotiations. Some countries elsewhere in Europe will also demand a say. So even if all sides can reach a deal, the path to Brexit probably won't be easy.